Are you using something like MailChimp? This is called CRM, Customer Relationship Management. So MailChimp is a third-party service that offers you uh, to send mass emails to people, you know, convert some leads to customers and all that. It's a powerful business opportunity. If you're not using it, you should. But if you're having a WordPress website, you shouldn't use third-party services because they are too expensive and they're third party, you don't control the information, they can always shut down your account, they can get hacked, they can, the, the, things can happen, you know? And if you have WordPress website, you could have a plugin called Fluent CRM. It's a very credible company behind it and they created an amazing plugin recently that's just MailChimp in your own system and you own it, you're the boss, you can decide which S SMTP service you want to use and it's just a fraction of the price the whole thing you know but you know going to fluent CRM you know inside your WordPress is a problem for majority of people because for example you're using one of the most famous uh, form plugins out there called contact form 7 and because fluent CRM is new still it doesn't have this native integration with uh, contact form 7 just yet but you could use something like webhooks and this video is all about that so stay tuned Hi, my name is Mr. Gecko and I'm helping you create better websites in WordPress by giving you some tips and strategies both in technical side as well as design. So today we're covering how to connect Fluent CRM with Contact Form 7 by using webhooks. So if you uh, find value in this, please consider subscribing. So I have this website of mine where uh, I, I made this recently and uh, I uh, this is a one-page website. Uh, this is just me giving uh, my link to the clients, you know, to contact me. So I have a form which is done in Contact Form 7 plugin and I'm sending uh, my leads to MailChimp. So here we have my MailChimp and as you can see, this is a testing email uh, generated by API contact form. So I've set this up. Uh, I installed uh, MailChimp Lite for contact form 7. It's another plugin add-on for, for it. And then you can map like uh, your email, your name. Then I have this, your service, your website. And then uh, I can name the, the form and so on. And this connects uh, really well with MailChimp. But the problem with MailChimp is, uh, for example, I'm just uh, starting this uh, thing up and it's uh, fine. But for example, for some companies that I did, uh, they already have some couple of thousand contacts and uh, the free plan is up to 2000. And for free plan, uh, you don't, you don't, uh, you don't have much, you know. But you can go down to calculate your cost, actually. So when you have something like up to 500 contacts, you know, essentials nine per month. So the monthly email send limit is 10 times your maximum contact count. So technically, you can send 10 emails to your audience per month. So if you have like 2.5k contacts, this is. 30 per month and then it grows it grows so these are some you know huge numbers per month to be able of course this is a this is a this is part of your business where uh, you can really grow and uh, you know earn a lot of uh, revenue from from this but the thing is uh, there is no reason actually to pay these prices you know it's it's just not reasonable so there is a plugin for WordPress called Fluent CRM. It's a credible company. They even recently launched their own SMTP plugin, which is amazing. You know, it's an SMTP service where you connect Fluent CRM or any other thing with, uh, like, your WordPress should use SMTP in any case. So you should use Fluent CRM uh, with it. So uh, it's a, it's actually the, 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 the thing is, uh, this is your custom, you know, uh, system, your custom MailChimp inside your website. Now, the thing is, with this one, it has a lot of integrations, as you can see. But for example, currently, it doesn't have integration with Contact Form 7 natively. So you could use some other things, of course, but yeah, 
contact form 7 is just on millions of uh, websites it, it, it it's been installed uh maybe like five million times or something like that uh, and it, it's the most uh, frequent plugin for for contact forms in in wordpress so fluency rm being new kid on the block we need to try to connect these two because you don't want to change your contact form plugin just for uh, sake of this uh, CRM solution because uh, there is also a popular plugin Fluent Forms. Uh, they made this a long time before the CRM plugin. So those two uh, can connect, of course, but your contact form 7 cannot connect currently. So here for your single site use, it's 129 per year. I myself got five license uh, five license thing uh, when it was a lifetime deal. So I'm really glad I put that on lifetime deal. Uh, probably they're not offering lifetime, uh, not anymore or anytime soon. So in any case, 129 is pretty cheap when you consider you just pay one year this price and then your SMTP service, you know, for example, you can connect to Amazon SES. It's going to be like, like, it's even irrelevant when, when you compare how much you spend for the same thing on MailChimp. It's, it's like non-existent, the cost. It's like pennies. So I'm going to install Fluent CRM and I'm going to try to, to see how I can integrate uh, Contact Form 7 with it. So I haven't done this before, but I'm going to try here. I, I think I know how because I connected webhooks uh, with some other things for Fluent CRM. So let's just uh, let's just find out. So Fluent CRM. Fluent CRM has also the free version. Maybe for, for majority of your things, you may want just free version. So there's that. Fluent CRM. Now, where is it? Oh, it's on top. So here we have Fluent CRM. So let's see whether we need the pro plugin for webhooks or not. Let's just see how it is. The next day. So for the webhook feature, you'll have to get uh, Fluent CRM Pro. Uh, this is uh, something not available in the free version. So there's that. Now, if you want to connect Fluent CRM with something like Contact Form 7, we first have to we first have to install a plugin that will, and that will enable Contact Form 7 to uh, actually post webhook data to Fluent CRM. And uh, for that, we're going to go here and uh, you search for CF7 webhook. So this is, uh, uh, this is the one with the most installs. There is also others. Uh, but uh, this one, I tested it, it just works. It's a little uh, curvy road uh, till you get there, but uh, we'll cover it step by step. So, first of all, let's go to uh, create a webhook. So here I'll say CF7 webhook. No lists, no nothing. So first, before that, let's uh, let's create some lists. So I'll create a list called uh, my contacts. You know, to have a list, and then I'll add some tags. And uh, the tag that I will add here, uh, my form is called uh, book your call. So I'm gonna tag that would book your your call so that I know where from is uh, where I'm receiving my contacts from. So the, the tag is pretty important. So I'll go back to the settings, incoming webhooks, and I create a webhook. So CF7 uh, webhook. So here I can select the list and then I can select the tag. And then I'll, I, I will uh, assign it a tag subscribe because it will trigger on the form send, uh, on, on the form submit. So yeah, I want it to be subscribe. So now uh, we can copy this 
webhook URL and go to edit my actual form in CF7 and you will see here same as I have a mail uh, same as I have chimpmatic lights for MailChimp I have now the webhook feature here so here you will paste the webhook URL from uh, Fluent CRM and uh, I will click to send to webhook and I will actually I want that mail to be sent uh, as usual uh, not just for webhook so webhook will be just uh, the webhook data will be just sent sent along the email so nothing else will be disturbed so I went through this plugin and uh, I, I really didn't like the way the documentation is put there it's uh, nothing nothing like understandable all these things like special tags like add a second word to pass as key to webhook like I tested millions of things nothing worked I expected here to see some values that uh, I will pass on on uh, like the key the 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 keys from Fluent CRM that will appear here but uh, apparently this is the data that it's sending from but you know it's it's just a hassle I'm not an experienced you know webhook user but uh, it was really hard to nail it down so what I did at the end I found out that you can just put here webhook uh, webhook and the webhook name needs to be uh, the name of your key so that is the that is the key thing so here uh, I will put uh, my name is full name so I will put it here the webhook I'll name it full name and here the email I will put it as email because in fluent CRM here email is email and it says copy the keys and run column paste into the app you want to use for sending post requests so it will send data the email address is required so we have to pass on email if we don't do that we cannot actually do anything else so I want these two and I'm gonna save the form so let's see what happens when I go to webhook the first two got changed from your name and your email to my new names here and apparently when you change it to the exact name of the key in Fluent CRM it will know to pass on that data to Fluent CRM I didn't know that before and probably many of you <laughs> didn't either so I'm gonna update this and uh, this is now saved we're set let's reload and let's test it out so here uh, I'll go to my all contacts I should have no contacts right now no contacts and now uh, Mr. Gecko is uh, coming to Fluent CRM that's a that's that's a cool name you know and uh, this is Gecko's new email at gmail.com you know website redesign my new web 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 dot com uh, something for message and book my call let's see thank you for your message it has been sent well thank you for that but has it been passed on to fluent CRM let's reload let's reload and there it is but my name wasn't mapped so my name wasn't mapped so let's see what happened let's see what happened so here I used full name full name and here columns I don't have column for full name here just name so can I add well technically then if we go here I don't have a full name here I don't have a full name well this is something that I really don't know 
nothing about. I'm still new to Fluent CRM. Uh, there should be able to I should be able to create these fields, but uh, yeah, let's just go back and uh, instead of full name, write first name. Because here in the webhook, there's also first name. So let's try that. Update. No, I need to save this one. So let's reload and test it again. Gecko's new name, Gecko's new, new, new email at Gmail. New website, web, web, web. Book your call. So let's see this time. There we go. Reload. Boom. That's it. So the only thing here is uh, we we would have to to create a field that's uh, full name and uh, add it here. So then it will be mapped. Let me know in the comments below if you know how to do that. I'm still new to Fluent CRM as uh, many of you out there. We are figuring things out. And uh, this is how you connect Contact Form 7 with fluent CRM and so far so good uh, and hey if you if you're getting value out of this if you find this helpful please hit that like button consider subscribing and uh, share it with anyone who would benefit from this so uh, thank you for watching and uh, check out my other videos on the channel uh, and uh, new videos are coming soon as well. So stay tuned for that and see you next time.